What's happening people, I hope you're all well. So Michael Hunter has come out and said that he would beat Martin Bacoli in better fashion than he did last time. So obviously last time around when they fought, which is a while ago now, Michael Hunter stopped Martin Bacoli. And he stopped him, Martin Bacoli, complaining about injuring his right shoulder. And it's actually quite an inf it's quite, a, I don't even call it infamous, but it's quite a well-known situation where Billy Nelson was telling Martin Bacoli, you can't quit, and Martin Bacoli wanted to quit in there. So it was quite a well-known situation, and Billy Nelson managed to convince Martin Bacoli to carry on. Martin Bacoli went on to lose that fight by stoppage and that caused wide criticism. But back to the point, Ma Michael Hunter back then was unknown. Uh, I, I knew he was dangerous, but many people didn't know about him. I knew that he ran USIC close. So, and that was back down at Cruiserweight. He moved up to heavyweight and, you know, people are always gonna wonder, is he gonna do something at heavyweight? Is he not? And he didn't really, have the following and he didn't really have the backing and no one really expected anything he came in as the away fighter and actually pulled off the upset win so that was a good win for Michael Hunter and then that really catapulted a I want to say a bit of a, a bit of a run for Michael Hunter because he then went on to fight uh, who's that guy that that really tall guy I forgot his name now uh who's that really tall guy uh but you know, it's, it's, it's that really tall guy that Joe Joyce also beat. Um, his name will come to me after this video, knowing what, knowing what I'm like. Um, the cat wants to chill. And she walks away when I go to pet her. So, yeah, um, Michael, I'm not going to try and remember his name, but he on, in, on the show in uh, Monte Carlo, he beat that really tall guy. Then he went on to beat... Sergei Kuzman, he went on to be, who else did he be? He fought Alexander Povetkin to a draw that I thought he won that fight. And he was looking like he was going to do bits in the heavyweight division. But then after that, there was, I believe, the Hergovich fight. He turned that down. Maybe he regrets it now. And then he kind of faded off into the wilderness. He recently lost to an unknown guy um, in a friendly fight or an, or an unofficial fight. He also... What else did he do? He did something else. He lost, no, he got a draw against Jerry Forrest, an opponent who he recently beat, or, or who he'd previously beat, and many think he was lucky to get away with that draw. So Michael Hunter hasn't looked the same since he changed trainer. Many people would be picking Michael Hunter to lose to Mike Bacoli if they were to fight again. So it's interesting that Michael Hunter has come out and said that he believes he would win even better this time because he thinks Mike Bacoli is bigger now, slower now, more hittable now. I mean, it's possible that Michael Hunter maybe just has his number, but for me, ring time counts. And for me, just, yeah, ring time's a big thing. Uh, Michael and uh, Mike Bacoli has been fighting better competition and looking better against better competition. And also form counts I think I might be picking Martin Bacoli if those two were to fight again also I think Michael Hunt is in his like late 30s now as well although um you know if Michael Hunt is in his late 30s Martin Bacoli they say he's in his early 30s I think he, you know I think he's apparently my age and I think he looks a lot older than me so I think maybe he's a bit older than the 30 31 but nonetheless I'll be picking probably Martin Bacoli anyway let me know what you think. Do you think Michael Hunter would win if they were to fight again? Let me know, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, hit the notification bell so you get a notification when I make a new video. If you appreciate my work and want to leave a donation, there's a link for that in the description. With that, enjoy the rest of your day. See you on the next one.